Hello, I'm Liz Duplessis, the Instructional Designer in Distance Education at SRJC. Let's get ready for the fall semester. In this video, I'll show you how to back up your course content and grades for past Canvas courses. Then I'll show you how to find and set up your Canvas course shells for the fall semester, including how to cross-list and import content. Let's get started. At the end of each semester, you should export your past courses and save them to your local computer as a backup. You can find them in the All Courses list under Past Enrollments. While these courses will always be here for you to access in Canvas, it's a good practice to back them up. I'll show you how. First, let's back up grades, which are exported separately from content. Go to the gradebook, select Export, and click CSV file, which will then download. You can open it in Excel and save it on your local computer, flash drive, or other storage device. You can back up grades at any time during or after each semester. Now let's export content. Click on Course Settings and select Export Course Content. Click Create Export and the export process will run. When it's complete, click the New Export link to download it and save it. Exports are packaged as zip files with the extension .imscc, which can only be opened by Canvas or other programs that support common cartridge files. You can upload these files to your Canvas account at another institution at a later date, or share them with colleagues who have Canvas accounts. These files do not include student interactions or grades. Now I'll show you how to find and set up your Canvas course shells for the fall semester. As an instructor, every course you are assigned to teach in the schedule of classes will automatically have a course shell added to your Canvas account. The term shell is used to describe the Canvas user interface that you use to set up, and for students to access, course content and activities. If you don't see a course shell for a class you're assigned to teach in your dashboard of Canvas, click the Courses icon in the blue global navigation bar and select All Courses. If you'd like the new course shell to appear on your dashboard, click the star icon next to the course until the star turns gold. If you'd like to hide a course from the dashboard, click the star until it turns white. If you don't see your course shell in your All Courses list, please go to de.santarosa.edu, click Canvas Request Forms, and fill out the form Course Shell Missing for Faculty so that our systems administrator can reassign the course shell to you. Starting with Fall 2017 course shells, the default home page is set to Modules, but you can easily change this by going to Home in the course navigation, clicking Choose Home Page, and selecting another option. Click on the Canvas Resources for SRJC Faculty page to view helpful information about setting up your Canvas course, templates available to you in Canvas Commons, and steps for changing the home page of your course from modules to a front page. Note that you should not publish the Canvas Resources for Faculty page in your course because it is not meant to be visible to your students. If you teach multiple sections of the same course in a given semester, you may want to cross-list your course shells in Canvas. To learn more about cross-listing, go to the form Cross-List Course Sections and be sure to read the information on this page and on the Multiple Sections page for more important considerations. Note that the time frame for cross-listing your sections is short. You must complete this form each semester after course shells have been added to your account, which happens when the schedule is permitized for a new semester, and you must cross-list before classes start or you will lose submitted assignments. You can import some or all content from a previous semester's Canvas shell into your new course shells. To import content into a new shell, choose the course shell you would like the content to end up in. Choose Settings from the course navigation. From the right sidebar, click Import Content into this course to import content. In the drop-down menu under Import Content, select the Copy a Canvas Course option. Select the course with the content from the drop-down list. You can also do a search by course name. If you want to import all of the content from the course to be added to the shell, click the All Content Radio button. If you want to select specific content, such as only certain modules, assignments, or quizzes, click the Select Specific Content Radio button. 
This import process does not overwrite existing content. It simply adds the additional content to your course shell. If you want to adjust the due dates associated with the course events and assignments, click the Adjust Events and Due Dates checkbox. In the beginning date field, enter the starting date of the course you are importing, such as January 10, 2017. In the Change To field, enter the new date when you want the course to begin, such as August 20, 2017. Do the same in the Ending Date fields. You can also define day substitutions to adjust for changing class schedules, such as moving all assignments on Mondays to Tuesdays. Click the Substitution button and select Days of the Week in the Move From and To fields. If you want to remove all associated due dates in the course, select the Remove Dates radio button. Dates will be removed from assignments, announcements, quizzes, and calendar events, as well as module unlock dates. Click the Import button. This may be a little counterintuitive since you haven't yet selected the specific content to be imported, but that's the next step. In the Current Jobs area, click the blue Select Content button once it appears. Depending on how big the imported course shell is, it may take a little while to see the next screen. From the pop-up window, mark the checkbox next to all content categories you want imported. This will automatically select all items within the marked categories. To select only certain items within a category, click the arrow next to the category to open up the list of available items. Select all items you want imported. Click the blue Select Content button. When the green Completed button appears in the Current Jobs area, your content has been imported. Don't worry if the Completed button is orange and shows Issues. As long as it says Completed, your content was imported. Next, review your course materials for the new semester. You can check that all internal and external links are functioning correctly by using Validate Links in your course settings. Note that the URLs for the SRJC bookstores are now santarosashop.com and petalumashop.com where students can search for textbooks by course section. If you want to provide a link directly to the textbooks for your section, remember to update that link each semester. You may also wish to unpublish items or modules in your course until they're ready for students to view. Or if you keep them published, which will allow assignments to appear on the calendar and in grades, you can publish and then lock an individual module so students won't access the content until a particular date. The module will unlock automatically on the date you set. You can also customize course navigation links in Canvas. We recommend keeping it simple and hiding navigation elements that are not being used to avoid confusion. If you're using modules to present assignments, quizzes, files, pages, and discussions, those links can remain hidden in your navigation. You can still get to them, but students will only see those in modules. If you do include files in your navigation, and there are any files you do not want students to see, be sure to unpublish those files or restrict access to them. You can make files only available to students with a link, such as a link in modules, or schedule student availability dates for each file or folder. Before you publish your course, use the Student View option found in the right-hand navigation bar on the Settings page to see what your course looks like from the student perspective and check to see that all modules and items are published and updated. You can even submit assignments or quizzes as the test student to verify everything is working properly. When your content is ready, publish your course, which will open it up for student access. For more information on these topics, search the Canvas Guides. Thanks for watching.